Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel is Finding Value. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna do a weekly look ahead. Sorry for being a little bit late on it. We've got some visitors over at our house, so I couldn't break away and, and do this. So the weekly look ahead and what I'm looking at for this week. So we'll jump in here and do a weekly look ahead. So what I'm focusing on, uranium companies that are down, Sky Harbor, Laramide, Standard Uranium, Goviax. I'm watching precious metals. I think they're about to take off to the upside. So I'm watching those like a hawk. They look exceptionally good. I've already positioned myself in a lot of the precious metals. If you've been watching my previous uh, clips and market updates, and I'm looking at oil and natural gas to see what direction they're headed. I'm gonna show you some charts and explain what I'm seeing in some of these charts. So first up is gold. This is the price of gold. I've got two, two trend lines in here when it was heading down. We had a false breakout up here and a massive down day. Uh, but what I'm seeing here is very positive development. We're above this trend line. We just need the buyers to step in here and push this guy higher. Uh, I think we're gonna see it pretty soon, probably within the next week. It's gonna look very good uh, if, if we see a move higher here. And I think it's gonna kick us off into a new uptrend uh, from this pre, you know, from the from the pullback that we've been seeing since August. So I am very excited to see what happens in the precious metals market this week. Here is silver. We broke to the upside, it's a clear break. We've got a lot of nice big up days. We've got a bullish piercing here with a, with a down day that, that reversed momentum throughout the day upward. I think this thing gonna, is gonna explode higher to the upside very soon. I am very excited and I've positioned myself very well for a move in silver to the upside with a lot of the mining companies. If you're interested in what companies I am going into, look at some previous market updates and I, and I chart those uh, companies out. Again, I, this is only financial education. Next, platinum. Platinum is looking very good. We broke out, we kind of back tested to these highs back here. That's that thousand dollar mark ish, maybe a little bit above. We back tested and now I think if gold and silver take off, I think platinum is gonna follow with it and it's gonna be game on. Uh, I've positioned again for the move in platinum and I'm very excited to see what this next week brings us in terms of the precious metals market. Next is natural gas. I've got two, kind of a channel trend line. It looks like we've got you know one, two, three, four popped out and came back down. So four hits there, that's a pretty strong trend. We got one, two, three, four, five, if this thing holds. So we'll see if this holds or if it come, kind of comes down. Maybe it's a false breakout. We're still in the middle of winter, but this is one to watch. I wanna see if natural gas holds here. Uh, oil, this is kind of what oil looks like. I drew this line in here because it looks like there's a bunch of uh, bottomings off this line. And then will this be resistance coming up? Uh, are we gonna break to the upside or is this thing gonna roll over and come back down? I'm not 100% sure. It looks like we've got a bullish engulfing here of the, of the candlestick before it. Uh, so we've got a wick on the bottom here. So I would guess that this thing's gonna go to the upside eventually. Maybe it hangs out a little bit, maybe it goes sideways or down and then eventually goes higher. We'll see next week what this looks like. But uh, I'm monitoring it just to see kind of what it has for us, what it has uh, for the show there. So for copper here, we've got uh, two kind of big down days here and, and we've got a wick on the bottom which typically means wicks on the bottom like to go a little bit higher but we do have a little bit of contraction here. Uh, this one I would say I would say this thing's about to roll over a little bit uh, and I bet you gold's going to outperform it. So here's my guess. I think money's going to be drawn from copper into gold and, uh, and precious metals. You'll see kind of oil, copper, here, I'll, I'll come back in. You're gonna see some of these kind of relax, uh, like copper, some of the base metals. And I think you're gonna see money kind of flow into precious metals over the short term. 
Uh, that's kind of be my guess. So these are going to kind of relax a little bit. The money's going to kind of rush into gold and silver mining equities. We're going to see gold and silver go up. And I think these are just going to be a little bit kind of cooled off from before. And you're going to see that money rotate between these two or a couple of sectors, uh, kind of in and out of these sectors. Out of kind of, we might see a slowdown in copper, base metals, oil, natural gas into the precious metals sector. That's my guess. So looking forward, I'm, ex I'm exceptionally excited about precious metals right now. I wanna see what happens in that camp. Uranium, you know, it's pulled up quite a bit. Uh, if energy gets a little bit weak here overall, maybe uranium kind of cools off a little bit, but we'll see. I'm watching this stuff. Everything that I'm talking about is still drastically undervalued. I would not be a seller of anything. I'm holding on to all my shares and all these different things. Uh, and I'm, I'm extremely excited about precious metals. If you like this content, click the thumbs up. Uh, appreciate you guys listening. This is Finding Value.